This is an analog timer with again the 741 op amp. And in fact, it's very simple. We set a certain reference voltage to pin 3, and on pin 2, we connect a resistor and here a capacitor, and we charge that capacitor by means of this switch. This can be a button switch, and when we release the button switch, the capacitor holds charge and it's going to uh, send its charge into the op amp, and that means that the LED lights up. Or, of course, another circuit. For instance, Wizard Arlington at the output, you can uh, switch your relay or so. This is the setting from P1, that's here. I found out that it has to be in this position this position to make it work properly. Of course when you want to make this as a definite circuit, uh, find it out and replace the potentiometer by two uh, fixed value resistors. When the capacitor here is 10 microfarad, the LED lights up approximately 2 seconds. And when it's 100 microfarad, approximately 12 seconds. One demonstrated now. I put a small voltage now to the capacitors here. This is one capacitor bridged to a lower value capacitor. And when I set the positive voltage on the input, the capacitor is charged and the LED lights up. And now I remove the wire and the LED keeps on burning, but of course for a certain time. That also depends on the setting of the potentiometer. I hope it will switch off now. I've tested it with a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor. Yes, now it switches off. And this was approximately 110 microfarad. So it took quite a long time to uh, get to the situation where the LED switches off. But of course, that's the meaning from the circuit. And when you take the capacitor here higher than 100 microfarad, uh, you will get much longer times. Of course, with, uh, on longer times, you always have to do with the leak uh, properties from the electrolytic capacitor. But I think that's no problem. So do your experiments to find the time that you want and that you need.